For flatland pilots, there's nothing quite as awesome as mountain flying, but an understanding and respect of mountain flying weather is the only way to do it safely. The sheer expanse of the rugged mountain terrain creates microclimates and modifies local weather conditions. This means that the weather found in one pass may not resemble what's found in the next. And because weather stations are often far apart, pilots can encounter actual weather far different than reported. Good visibility and ceilings are essential to fly in mountainous areas. When the ground is not only just below you, but also beside you, you'll want to see as much of it as you possibly can. Interior valley fog and clouds can form quickly when the dew point and temperature spread is closing. Pilots are surprised after leaving a clear mountain strip or coastal area to find large interior areas covered completely with fog. Another important factor in mountain flying is winds. Winds flowing over the rugged mountain terrain can create waves with updrafts and downdrafts on opposite sides of a pass. For a smooth flight, fly early in the morning and fly as high as possible and practical. And if the wind is more than 20 knots on the surface, stay on the ground. When flying in passes, stay to one side, preferably the sunny side, and don't fly down the center. Always allow space for a quick turnaround. Mountain flying requires a special set of skills. Seek out information from local pilots, or better still, take some mountain flying training from a recognized flight school. And finally, no matter how good the weather is or how short the flight, always file a flight plan. You know, that makes good sense not just for flying in the mountains, but wherever you fly.